If you've ever watched a tutorial where someone told you to apply the scale and you didn't understand why you would need to do that, then this video is for you. So I'm just using Blender 2.92 as an example for this, and I just have my cube right here. Let's open up our side panel with N. You can see under item right here, we have our transform information. So when we move our object to the side, you can see the location changes. You can rotate with R and you can scale with S, or you can just drag these values right here. And you can see when we do that, all these values are different now. You can reset these. Uh, so to reset the location, you would do Alt G. You can see all these go back to zero and this goes back to its original location. Alt R, again, all these are zero, back to the original rotation and Alt S will bring all of these back to one and we have our original scale now. Say for instance, we scale this a little on the X axis and then you, we can apply the scale with control A and then choose scale right here. You can see our cube didn't change size or anything, but over here, everything went back to one. So now if we press Alt S, nothing happens because this is now the new original scale. Um, and so if we scale this up any different amount, whatever, and press Alt S, it's going back to that amount because we applied it. It's basically saying this is the new original. When this, when all of these are one, this is the shape that you want to be, okay? So for example, if you were making a bouncing ball animation, this is an instance where you don't want to apply your scale. Um, basically, you want your original scale, when it's everything set to one, you want it to look like a perfect ball still, so that when you, you know, stretch it and squash it and stuff like that, you can always hit Alt S and make it go back to the original shape if you wanted to. So if you scaled this down and like squashed it and stuff like that and then applied it like that, you want to go back to your original shape, you're gonna have to, you know, guess like that. So like that looks normal, but the scale is still all out of whack. And when you hit Alt S, it's squashed again. So this is an example of wanting to keep your scale consistent so that you can always revert it back to the original. All right, so one instance where this is actually important to apply your scale is I'm going to add a bevel modifier to this. And you can see this doesn't really look normal. And the reason that is is because I didn't apply the scale. All right, so if we open up our side panel again, you can see um, not all of these are one. This one is five right now. So if I apply the scale to reset this back to one, now our bevel looks normal. And you can easily recreate this problem that we were having with the bevel modifier by selecting your object, make sure you're in object mode for this, and you just scale it again on the X axis. The more you scale it, you can see the bevel modifier starts to stretch. And it's not, you know, the same on this side as it is on this side. If you ever have this problem with the bevel modifier, make sure you check your scale. And if you don't want to be constantly applying your scale like that, you can just Alt S to go back to the original and do stuff in edit mode. So now I'm in edit mode, I hit tab to get into edit mode. And if I, if I start scaling this, you can see that the bevel modifier is still working completely fine. Um, you know, you could even start like adding geometry and the bevel modifier is still working completely fine. And if we tab back into object mode, you can see this is still one. So when you do changes in edit mode, it's not affecting your scale at all. But when you scale things in object mode, it does affect your scale right here. So another situation where you might have trouble uh, if the scale is not applied is in the shading tab over here. And I'm using a checker texture as our example. By default, if you don't have a texture coordinate plugin, um, it will be using the generated ones. That's what it uses by default. So you can see when we scale this on the x-axis, and once again, we're in object mode for this, you can see our checker is stretching. And if we plug in the generated, that's the same because by default, this uses generated. Um, so I usually use object for this. Most tutorials, people will use object or UV or something like that. It works the same for this too. So if we press Alt S, you can see our checker texture, once again, looks normal. And when we scale this, in object mode, it's going to stretch our texture. So if you're ever in a situation where your textures look like they're all stretched for some reason, it might be because your scale is not applied. So right now we can see that all of these are not one. If we select our object and control A, apply scale, now our checker texture is no longer stretched. 
And once again, just to drive this point home, if you scale this in edit mode, this will not stretch. It won't affect the scale. So another instance where not applying your scale might get you into some trouble is with rigging and animating. So I'm just going to set up a rigging example right here. I scaled all of this in object mode. So if we check our transform over here, you can see this is all out of whack. None of these are one. They're all very different. So now I'm going to um, you know, select our object, select our bones, and control P and choose with automatic weights right here. So now that I did that, um, you know, when we move these in pose mode, the armature will follow. Okay. But if we select our object, go back into object mode, select our object, and we reset the scale so that all of these are back to one. We can do that again with Alt S. Now this is the original shape. This is what our object wants to be. And now when we try to pose this, this is all broken. I have no idea what's going on right now. And so now how would you fix this? And that's kind of the problem is at this point, because we already applied our scale, you would basically just have to control Z until everything is back to where it was. But if you're in a situation like this where it's already been saved, um, you know, you could basically just scale this on the X axis and try to get back to, you know, your original size. But that's not going to be very easy, especially if you're using a shape that's more complex than this tube right here. So you can see now we're pretty close and it's, it's working all right again. But if this is wrong even a little bit, it's, it's not going to look good. It's not going to work right. Basically, try to not put yourself in a position where you're binding um, armatures to meshes without the scale applied. If you notice that you are in this situation, um, before you change the scale at all, just make sure you apply your scale. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that made sense and helps you all understand what it means to apply your scale. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.